Hi guys, welcome to Pre-Calc 11, Chapter 1.1, Arithmetic Sequences. Uh, as usual, we'll start off with our PLOs for this section. Uh, the first PLO is to derive a rule for determining the general term of an arithmetic sequence. Uh, the second rule is to determine T1, D, N, and T of N in a problem that involves an arithmetic sequence. The third rule is to distinguish a relationship between an arithmetic sequence and a linear function. And the last thing is to solve word problems that involve arithmetic sequence. So let's have a look at the first example over here. We have, uh, so let's start off with what is an arithmetic sequence. It's basically a pattern of numbers where the difference is the same all the time. That basically means you add or subtract the same number in the pattern. So for this one right here, we have 3, 5, 7, and 9. So it's basically we add 2 each time, which makes it an arithmetic sequence. Uh, you were asked to know what the general term is. That is basically a formula that helps find any term of the sequence. So T of n is basically the term you're looking for. T1 is the first term of the sequence. So using our example, that would be 3. Uh, n is the number of terms in the sequence and D is the common difference. Uh, in this example, that would be 2, because you add 2 every time. So let's move on. Our first question shows a pattern of 5, 12, 19, 26, 33, and so on. The first question is to write the general term. So here's our formula, T of n equals T1 plus n minus 1 multiplied by D. So let's start filling in what we know. We don't know what TN, T of n is yet, but we know what the first term is. The first term of the sequence is 5 plus n minus 1, and the difference is 7, because you add 7 every time. Now, let's just multiply it in. So, 5 remains the same, but 7 times n gives us 7n, and 7 times negative 1 gives us negative 7. And when we add like terms, we get a final answer of 7n minus 2. So that's our e general term equation for this question. Now let's go to B. B says, find the value for the 16th term. So here's our formula again. I just took it down from the answer of A. Now we can fill in the, uh, fill in the remaining section. So now we're looking for term 16, and we can uh, fill in 16 for n. So 7 times 16 gives us 112, and the 112 subtra uh, minus 2 gives us a final answer of 110. Now C is asking, uh, so C is giving us an answer of 54, but it's asking us to find which term is the, it gives us the answer of 64. So we'll start off with our formula, the general term formula, T of n equals 7n minus 2. We'll fill in the blanks. We know that we're looking for 54, and we need to find what term it is. So we leave n over there. So now let's try to uh, isolate for n. We'll add 2, which makes it 56 equals 7n, and we'll divide both sides by 7, which gives a final answer of 8. That means that the 8th term of the sequence is 54. Let's move on to our second question. It's a little bit more complicated. All this question tells us is that term 5 is 7 and term 10 is 17. Now, A asks us to find the common difference between uh, the common difference for this question. So, we, as usual, we'll always start off with our formula t of n equals t1 plus n minus 1 times d, and let's fill in some of the missing parts. We know that for the first equation, we know that term 5 is 7, so we can put a 7 in for t of n. We don't know what the term 1 we don't know what term 1 is yet, but we know that that's uh, term 5. And the common difference, we, all, we don't know what that is yet. So we get a final answer of 7 equals term 1 plus 4D. Now let's do it for term 10 equals 17. Again, start off with our formula. Now we know T of N is equal to 17, and the difference is that this time N equals 10. So we get a final answer of 17 equals T1 plus 9D. So in the end, we get these two equations right here. 7 equals t1 plus 4d, and 17 equals t1 plus 9d. We have to get rid of, as you can see, there are two variables. There's t1 and then there's d. 
we can only solve for one variable so we can get what we can do is get rid of t1 by doing elimination so we subtract the two equations we get 7 minus 17 to get negative 10 t1 minus t1 cancel, uh, cancel each other off 4 minus 9 gives us negative 5 and let's isolate for d. So we divide both sides by negative 5 giving us a common difference of 2 in this equation. We will refer back to our original two equations 7 equals t1 plus 40 and 17 equals t1 plus 90 we, now, to, find out the, uh, to find out the term 1 of the sequence. So we start off with our equation but now we know what the common difference is so we can fill that in. So 7 equals t1 plus 4 times 2 which is basically t1 plus 8 now we isolate for term 1 so we subtract 8 from both sides giving us the uh, term 1 of negative 1 now we have all the parts for the general term equation and we can just write that down so start off with the formula now now we know what t1 is which is negative 1 and now we know what the common difference is is negative 2 so we can multiply it out so minus 1 plus 2 times n gives us 2n 2 times negative, negative 1 gives us negative 2 when you add like terms you get 2n minus 3 as your final answer our third question is a pattern where it shows 6, 1, negative 4, negative 9, and negative 14 and it, now we're trying to figure out the relationship between a linear function and an arithmetic sequence this is the formula for an arithmetic sequence and this is the formula for a linear function. You might notice this from uh, previous grades y equals mx plus b it's used to graph uh, linear functions. So let's start off with our arithmetic sequence formula. We know that the first term is 6 and we know that the common difference in this case is negative 5 because we have to subtract 5 each time when we multiply everything out we get a final answer of t of n equals negative 5n plus 11 now let's use the uh, y equals mx plus b and see what we get uh, we know that we subtract 5 each time so m equals negative 5 that's there but we don't know what b is but b is equal to the it's the y-intercept we get the y-intercept when x equals 0 so we have to do the opposite of what we're doing. Since we're subtracting 5 each time, we have to add 5 to get the y-intercept, and we get an answer of 11. So the final answer is y equals negative 5x plus 11, and you find out that the arithmetic sequence formula and y equals mx plus b is the same thing. Let's move on to the next question. Now this is a word problem. So there's a picture and his first pitch is 75 miles per hour but his speed increases by 4 miles per hour each time so there are two questions first is to write the general term formula and second is to find the speed of his 11th pitch so let's start off with our formula t of n equals t1 plus n minus 1 times d fill in the missing spots so first pitch is 75 that's term 1 and the difference is 4 because his speed increases by 4 each time after you multiply everything out, you get a final answer of 4n plus 71. And b now asks us to solve for the 11th, the speed of the 11th pitch. So we'll use our formula t of n equals 4n plus 71, which we solved for a. And now we'll fill in the last missing piece. So we know it's the term of the 11th pitch, so we can fill those in in the two spots. And we get a, uh, once we multiply, you get 44 plus 71 for a final answer of 115 miles per hour. Another word problem. Uh, this time there are tables with a different number of chairs that goes in an arithmetic sequence. So we have two pieces of information here. We know that table 5 has 18 chairs and table 10 has 33 chairs. Uh, the questions, there are two questions. Find the common difference and find T1. So let's start off with the common difference. Okay, we'll uh, you start off with our equation again and fill in the missing pieces. So for the first equation, t5, uh, t table 5 has 18 shares. We know that we're looking for an answer of 18. We don't know what term 1 is yet, but we know that it's the fifth term. And we don't know what the common difference is yet. So after we uh, multiply it out, so we get t1 plus 5 minus 1 gives us 4. 4 times d gives us a final answer of 18 equals t1 plus 40. 
Now we'll do the, uh, do the same thing with the second equation. The only difference is we fill in 33 and 10 and gives us a final answer of 33 equals t1 plus 90. Now what we do is basically uh, elimination again. We have to, since we have two variables, t1 and d, we can't solve like that. So we'll get rid of the t1s by subtracting again. So we have 33 minus 18 gives us 15. 9 minus 4 gives us 5d. Divide both sides by 5. You get a final answer, a common difference of 3. So now we can use either 18 equals t1 plus 4d or 33 equals t1 plus 9d to solve for the, the first term. So let's just use the first one because it's smaller numbers. So now we can fill in our common difference, which is 3. So now we know 18 equals t1 plus 12. Solve for term 1. We just subtract uh, 12 from both sides, giving us a final answer of 6. So that is the end of uh, chapter 1.1, Arithmetic Sequences. I hope you found it helpful.